afternoon, Bradley Central teachers. I'd like to take a minute to talk to you about science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM. It might sound like just an educational buzzword, but it's anything but. STEM curriculum blends those subjects in order to teach 21st century skills or tools students need to have if they want to be successful in the workplace of the future. The idea is that in order to be prepared for jobs and compete with students from different parts of the world, students here in the U.S. need to be able to solve problems, find and use evidence, collaborate on projects, and think critically. Skills, the thinking goes, that are taught in those subjects. The key term when talking about STEM is integration. STEM curriculum intentionally melds those, these disciplines. It's a blended approach that encourages hands-on experience and gives students the chance to gain and apply relevant, real-world knowledge in the classroom. This year, Bradley Central High School is pursuing a Tennessee STEM School designation. A school that receives Tennessee STEM School designation will be recognized by the Tennessee of Department of Education for its use of STEM teaching and learning strategies and serve as a model from which other schools may visit and learn. We know that we are already doing great things in the STEM world at BCHS, but in order to earn the STEM school designation, we need to kick it up a notch and make sure we're integrating it school-wide. And we need all hands on deck to get there. That's where you come in. We've already started the process by assembling a STEM leadership team and completing a self-assessment of where we stand today. Next, we'll begin a small, by having each of you, select one lesson in which to integrate one element of STEM. One lesson, one science, technology, engineering, or math component added. Today, you will have the opportunity to create your lesson, working with your department or grade level team to develop a workable lesson plan. I'm asking that you add your completed plan to the School Schoology assignment folder so that we can begin to build artifacts that can be used to prove we're making intentional strides towards our STEM certification process. What follows are some guidelines and instructions from Ms. Culberson to help you navigate through the process. Please let me take a moment before you get started to say that I'm really excited about this and I know that together we are going to nail the STEM school designation. We are competitors and we're winners. We've proven that time and time again. We're going to be the best at this and we will not be shown up by any other school. Let's do this. God bless and go big. Thanks, Mr. Spangler. Hi, Bradley Central teachers. Today, you have the opportunity to plan a lesson in your content area that includes one element of STEM. It's entirely up to you to select which one best fits with your subject. It's also your choice if you'd like to co-plan an amazing lesson with those in your department, plan with another teacher or teachers in a different subject you want to integrate, or simply plan on your own. If you aren't a STEM teacher, you might be thinking, how do I STEM in my classroom? We get it. STEM sounds like a lot. There's a big difference between teaching students to remember to carry the one and teaching them how to code. But there are simple, unintimidating ways and effective ways to implement a STEM curriculum in your classroom that has nothing to do with teaching R2D2 how to dab. STEM can easily be incorporated into your classroom with a few easy steps. So let's get started. If you're watching this, you've already navigated to the course in Schoology. In this course, you'll find a folder called STEM Integrated Lesson Plan. Single click on that title and you will find the STEM Lesson Plan template. This is what you'll use to create your lesson plan. Also located in the STEM course is a sample lesson plan you can use to give you an idea of how a non-STEM teacher has integrated the elements into her course. Some ideas to add STEM to your lessons. Solve a problem that will connect and extend to your coursework. Have students identify a problem, research potential solutions, build something, test something, measure something. Provide hands-on experimental learning. Create an online presentation. Incorporate apps and extensions for students to use in your class. Measure things. Use charts or graphs to analyze data. Design or create a product. Conduct research on a topic and have students organize and present their findings using the data they have collected in the form of charts or graph. This is not an exhaustive list, but a place to start. Some important dates for you to remember, and you'll see this in Schoology, are October 2nd 
and October 16th. Friday, October 2nd, the day before fall break, is the final day to submit your lesson plan in Schoology. And October 16th is the final date that we ask that you have conducted the lesson. This timeline is pretty important. Since Bradley Central needs to show the Tennessee STEM Innovation Network, we're taking positive steps towards the certification process. Let me finish by saying thank you, not just for what you do every day here at Bradley Central, but for being a part of this initiative, which will be, will be the yardstick by which other schools will measure their STEM readiness. Go Bears! <laughs>